everybody, how are you doing? It is Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and today I'm going to show you how to paint this adorable spring bunny with easy peasy daffodils. They're so easy. It's crazy how easy those daffodils are going to be. <gasps> Look how easy those are. On the mic today is my husband, John. Hi, guys. He is going to be tracking me with cameras, which is a really challenging job. We've got four of them around the studio, so you can be really up deep in the paint action. If you've never been here before, this is a live painting show where I teach you how to do the painting, not just show you that I can do it. Also, if you're here for the live, you're meeting a bunch of really cool people in the chat. We have one of the funnest chats, I think, on YouTube. Absolutely, yeah. So hi, everybody who came to the live. It is really good to have you here, and if you came on the replay, I'm so glad you took the time to watch this and maybe have a painting that you get to do at home. This is going to be an easy one today. Oh, yeah. Like, we have a hoot scale, one hoot being easiest, three hoots being hardest. I would say this is a half a hoot. It's a half a hoot? A half a hoot. That's so That's easy. so much fun. We'll call it a one hoot. Okay, just... But this is definitely going to be one of our easier pa I'm so excited to share this with you today. Mmm. <laughs> I th there, there's a lot of people who are excited here to see it here. They're letting, they, there was a lot of questions about what the what the bunny is doing. Oh, there it is. I just brought it right up there. Didn't even know there. Yeah, I <laughs> added some little flowers. I got to messing with him. You did so some flowers. I did. I added some flowers and some stuff because I just I couldn't stop springing him up is what happened to me. I just yeah. kept saying, Springer, you're Springer, you're Springer. You can add all kinds of things. You can customize this. Um, this is on an 11 by 14 canvas board. These come gessoed and ready to paint. Our color palette today is so simple. It is quinacridone magenta. But listen, guys, anything magenta and pinkish will do. This is cad yellow medium. But, you know, hue is acceptable. Hansy yellow is acceptable. So, you know, you've got lots of cost options here, especially if you're painting with little brushes. Mm -hmm. Titanium white. Thalo blue. If you're in an area where you can't get thalo blue, remember Windsor blue will work. And also, in the case of this painting, you could probably get away with ultramarine blue. Oh, yeah. Thalo green. And in the center, this is my favorite, favorite yummy, yummy stuff. This is acrylic glazing liquid. This is a product that you can add to your acrylic paint to slow down its drying time. Right. And improve your ability to pull it out to flow it, and also so you can glaze. It does all those things in one bottle, and you know I like something that does a lot of things <laughs> in one bottle. We like to begin yeah. our live paintings with wishes from our community on the canvas. Yes. And today we're going to start with that we need to send our very own Patricia Simmons some love and support for her loss. Yes. We just want to put wishes on our canvas for her and just send her love. And if you want to know more about how you can help Patricia, I put a link in the description below. Um, I also want to do Mrs. Monkey has a wish for her little brush to really get some love and support. She's going through a really hard time and just to have the kind of people around so she can get back to being the fabulosity, awesome 12 year old. I'm sure that she is, but feeling like it because sometimes it's hard to feel good. Mm, yeah. And so we want to get those people around her and, um, honey, honey ha girl has a wish for her daughter. Who's on a medical journey. They need some clarity. They need some clever kind of, um, friendly house type people. Yes. To just figure it out and get her on the way to well being because we all deserve well being. Yeah. Like our bun, bun, bun. Then I'm going to call Brian's bunny today. <laughs> no. I think. So, wow. That's, we've, we've got some big banging going on outside because there's construction <laughs> happening. So I'm not sure how much <laughs> of that people can hear. If the but lives go, like, if we ever, if suddenly it's all VODs, what you'll know is that they've just decided to dig up our world. It's, it's getting more and more. Um, well, just it's unbelievable. My getting... son is so entertained. The tractors are all around us. He thinks he's gone. He's gone to heaven because yeah. of all of the construction. There's all, all we're getting all new. Bob the Builder, new all sewer, new us. water, new everything in the entire neighborhood. New roads. They're totally updating downtown Humble. So yeah. it's we appreciate it. Oh it's yeah, just it's just noisy. It's just noisy. It's so, just noisy. All right. So tell us about the the materials. Now that we got our wishes in here. I did. Oh yeah, that's right. You did. I did. Oh, and I remember that. in the description below, the I description. have more stuff about materials. I'm if just you think if you think this is amazing and cool, you could subscribe. And then you could hit the bell, and then they would tell you when we were on. That's true. Theoretically. <laughs> but you can follow us at theartsherpa.com, too. And any of our social media, we try to make sure we put out notifications. So I've got a couple brushes here. I just want to give you an example. I'm going to paint this in. Actually, I think today I'm going to demo this number 30 bright by uh, the Ruby Satin one by Silver. But you could use like a one inch stiff white nylon. You just want a whiter, nice flat brush to get your background in. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to show you that there's some differences in brushes that will get, ding, you're an artist. <laughs> um, 
get it in. How I like to start is I like to dip the brush in water mm-hmm. and drag off the excess. Right. Right? Dragging off the excess. This background is super simple because we're going to just pull out a little bit of this thalo blue. See how I come from the outside of the paint plop? Yeah. I'm coming from the outside and I'm going to come over to the white with just that small amount of blue. And see, it doesn't take a lot of blue to tint my white. I'm adding my glazing because that's going to really help me in the hot, hot studio. So see, that's how that's loaded on a big wide brush. Yeah. And then you're just going to come back and forth in wide, flat strokes. Right? Wide, flat strokes are the fun strokes. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a song in my heart, but this is not a singing show, so don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. So you can see how any wide brush, it really gets the job done. What you're looking for is a stiff synthetic filament. Can be high end, can be economical. My stiff white nylons are very economical. I'm just enjoying this today. Just had to take this out. Give you a nice spin. blend. Spinning it. As I'm going to go up, you know, my canvas. I'll let the sky get a little bit darker as I go up. Right? So up here at the top, that will probably be the darkest. And you'll notice that I'm letting it be streaky a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's because that gives me this sort of like, doesn't it sort of seem like there's distant, fluffy, maybe wispy clouds? Kind of some out of focus sky. Yeah. Some stuff far away. Sometimes the paint just does the work for you. And I love those days. The days when the paint does all my work, and I just have to show up and imagine my world. That's my favorite. Yeah, it, yeah. And I'm Tracy, adding a little more blue as I go up, so you see, it gets just a little darker. Hi, Tracy. One of our tra- one of our community members, Tracy, she was asking, does it does a person have to take art classes or go to art school to become an artist? No. And I think that's a, you no, know, thank goodness. Otherwise, so many of our favorite artists wouldn't be famous and artists, and we wouldn't have them to love. Well, how do we officially know that we're on that journey then? Did you do a painting? You're an artist. (laughs) I mean, you can put as many obstacles in front of yourself as you feel like. Other people really love to put obstacles in front of you before you get to call yourself an artist. But the fact is, the minute you use your imagination and create something, you're kind of one of us. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome aboard. (laughs) You're part of the fam. That's really all it takes. Um, You know, would you... We would always tell kids as soon as they start creating that they're artists. I don't know why as grown-ups we're harder on ourselves. Yeah. That's a crazy thing we do. See, I'm just getting a little darker up here. I love getting to tell people that. It's like giving them their art wings. <laughs> you're, you're part of us. Did you imagine something? You know, and some of the greatest artists in the world didn't go to art school. Though if you can, it's nice. I went. I liked it. Super fun. Yeah. It, it's Highly recommended if it's possible. And you can learn a lot at art school. Sure. And, and having said I was the last person to think one would I would take art classes, I learned a lot. <laughs> there was this, we were th- dating. There was there was this cute girl in art class down the <laughs> down the way. That, so and I was in the physics department. They were just down the hall. So anyway. Oh, he's so sweet. I'm gonna grab. I'm not even gonna rinse my brush off. See how it's got all this kind of blue and white on it. Yep. I'm gonna come over and get just a touch of my phthalo green. And maybe a smidge of yellow. So it's a little bit bright. I don't need a lot. And I'm going to, from about the third down, dust a light dusting of this green color. This is going to peek through our easy peasy daffodil blades Mm -hmm. and give us this sense of this grassy world that our happy little bun bun lives in. Yeah. Happy little bun buns bouncing in the fields. With their little flowers. Their little flowers. And everything is real. Oh, yeah. I mentioned that. You know, we've been Sherpa for a while now. Just are we so Sherpa? You know, we totally are. And we are ready to we're... defend the Kodan Armada every day. <laughs> 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 it's every you guys every have to day. be bear with me i finally got to see rogue one and it feels so much better <laughs> it was like there was a hole in my heart so, but now it's full <laughs> but when it, oh, wait, i'm gonna no. rinse my brush out be sure and rinse your brushes out 
right? Mm -hmm. Acrylic paint can be hard on brushes, and so what really keeps them going the longest is cleaning them. I like to put mine to the side. I sort of dry them off and let them rest until I take, take them in for a good, good washing. She has to do that before she goes and dances for you guys. Gives you your, gives you guys Sherpa dance. So one of the things that we've, we, just, we always forget to do is don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the little buttons. Do the social shares. When you're here celebrating with us, don't forget to get up and dance. When we get to hit 300, we like to celebrate that we are Sherpa. Mostly like to make single cinnamon out there, do the Sherpa dance, which we like to, we think is pretty cute. So, and if you're at home and you can't get up and, and dance with us, then wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Gotta remember that body, that, remind that body that we're alive and we're having a good time together. So, thank you guys. Um, you know, don't forget to join us on, you know, <laughs> on, on all of our stuff. You know, we, we love you guys being here with us. So, woo! Right? I, I do. Have I have I missed any of the things? I always, no, I'm we so love bad you guys. At this. I, That's really the most important thing, yeah, isn't it? Thank you for coming and hanging out with us. I know there's all sorts of things I'm supposed <laughs> to say, but I forget them. So. It's a good thing to say. Yeah. I'm going to put in my blades first before I put in my daffodil heads. So I'm going to, it's okay to keep stay in here. I have extra water. I have three jar, jars of water in this painting. It's going to be important to have clean water when you go to make Mr. Bun Bun. Mm -hmm. But until then, you're okay. I'm going to grab a little of my thalo blue, put it into my thalo green here. I might even grab some of my yellow. This is a fun series of colors that I get to make. And I'm going to come, and what I like to do, what I really enjoy, if my hair dryer will get out of my <laughs> space, is I make this sort of world. I make this little space that his little fuzzy butt mm -hmm. is going to sit down in. And I come and I curve up like this. I'm on the edge of my brush. See here? Yeah, I'm this down. is a number eight bright. And you can always find the size of the brush, brush here. It'll be a number. And a type is a bright. Flats are different than brights, even though they look a lot alike. They do. They're tricky. And I'm just curving up this light little background. Look at that. Maybe I'll get a little more yellow this time and a little white on that because I can change it up. Having some fun making different greens. There's so many kinds of green. Mm. I love going to, I got to go to France with my mother. And I think the first thing I noticed is that they have different greens. They, they do. They do. So I'm just, you can see how I'm curving this fun little grass up. It's like the Mediterranean blues. Now I might pull it in towards the center a little bit, even when I know my bunny's going to be there, just so that there's a layering. Mm -hmm. The layering. Lay you, you talk about layers a lot. Oh, in acrylic painting, I love to layer it. It's one of the things it gets to do that other uh, paint doesn't necessarily do as well. It's one of the charms of this media. I just grabbed some more phthalo blue and a little yellow and white. Because I'm mixing up how like greens. I'm trying to see how many greens I can make. Mm. Sometimes on my stroke, you'll see that it gets a little dry and skips along the surface of the paint. So I'm going to improve the flow of the paint. You can improve the flow of the paint with either water mm -hmm. or something like my blending medium. Ah. These strokes can be loose and abstract. You don't have to be stressed about them in any way. And I'm going to take them here, and they all go right off the canvas here but the important thing is to curve it and I'm on the edge of the brush curving up if you're having trouble all that's happening is that you're probably like maybe holding the brush on the flat like this see how that's not going to make a thin line remember to hold it on the edge and let the brush flick and pull up use the edge of the brush to do the work for you. I think I'm going to add a little more green back into my mix. I think it's really fun and stuff like this to see how many kinds of green I can make in my little world. It's okay if you see here like some of the background is kind of peeking through. That's okay. This is about layers. Mm -hmm. And about this very loose painting. This isn't supposed to be highly realistic. This is supposed to be very relaxed and playful and fun. Not that we can't do highly realistic stuff. We can. Yeah. Oh, I'm having a good time. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing good. I'm just, I'm enjoying watching the grasses. Grasses, the grasses today. So that's all it takes to get the grasses in. 
Okay. Right. Now, yeah, I noticed. That's that all it takes. I'm going to rinse out my little brush. You you let the, you let a lot of that that I'm going to zoom in on it here because you can see, especially here, you let a lot of that paint be very streaky. I did. I love it being it's streaky. It's, it's I'm going to make. Root. I'm going to take my phthalo blue back over to my phthalo green. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make a dark kind of leaf shape, right. and I'm going to curve it up here. Okay. I'm on the edge of my brush, still a number eight, curving on the edge. I'm going to curve up, and then maybe kind of go back with a little bit of an S. I'll come out in a wide area, and then join back in in my leaf. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? Isn't that a nice leaf shape? And come across and just add some dark leaves. That's fun. Painting in my dark leaves. Darkly, darkly, dark. Just paint that in. Just a fun dark leaf. Just a couple of these, you know, to say, oh my goodness, these are tulips that have Ooh. popped out of the grass. See, I'm making this one nice and wide. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little yellow into this green. Just a little shape there. This is fun. Super fun. Well, fun for me. I think it looks really cool. Just another one here. Just these darker little no. shapes so that people can see when they're looking at your painting, oh, that there's different types of grass shapes and, and leaf shapes out there. Now, Tanya was asking, does Thalo Green have some big name for those of us having a hard time finding yes. it? Yes, uh, Thalo Ithacate. Thalo Ithacate. But I don't think Why'd I they do that? I don't know. So here's the trick. Da -da 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 -da. If you look on any tube of paint, there's going to be a pigment number. And this one is pigment green number seven. All Thalo Green, no matter what they name it here, will be pigment green number seven. This is pigment blue number 15. I've learned that this is not as important. This is something for ASTM. But it's pigment blue number 15. If you look here, pigment red 122. Yeah. I think that that colon afterwards is for color, is for color fastness. Yeah. I have to go look at that up. Yeah, I think it is color fastness. So. Well, this is light. These are light fast ones. So these are both incredibly light fast. Yeah. We're going to have a whole thing about how to read this tube so they can't even fool you. <laughs> They can't fool you no more. It's like you, you, we, we have the, 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 the ability to decrypt it. We have a, a secret club ring where we figured out how to read the tube. <laughs> and, and, and that will also help you because if there's nothing on the tube of paint to read, I would recommend not getting that tube of paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the good companies try to tell you stuff because they know the, only, the, the best information that you're going to get is probably on the tube. Yeah. So I'm making a couple wide leaves over here, blending them down in. Now, if you have kind of some weird shapes you're not loving, trick, get a little green, get a little white, come back in and layer another little layer of grass. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So that way it just stays very grassy. Very and mellow. Loose. And mellow. Very grassy. Now, for the next part, I have to um, dry this with my hair dryer. Okay. Will you dry that? Now we'll go. And I'll say, hey, guys. Thank you for coming and being with us. We have a huge crowd. We have like 350 people here hanging out with us. So thank you guys coming. I saw everybody who was out there doing some finger dances with us earlier. Thank you guys. Love seeing you with us. Um, I wanted to remind you guys, don't forget to go out to theartsherpa.com where you can join up with us. You can find our chat that we do after the show. There's a calendar of events, all that kind of stuff out there. There's also, you can find information about the Big Art Quest where we've, we've got a page there where you can find all of the individual, uh, individual uh, uh, you know, adventure pages, and they've got all of the, the information on each one. Um, you'll also find links to, uh, on, on the main site, the links to the other videos, like this one you'll see here today. We've got the traceables and all that stuff linked up in there. So, yeah. I am, however, going to, for, for you artists that came in that wanted to sketch it in, I'm going to show you how to sketch it in. This is kid's chalk that I've sharpened in my sharpener. Mm -hmm. So to do Mr. Bunny, I'm going to leave at Wrong least one. four fingers from the top where his nose is peeking out. And I'm going to make a curved line because I want a slight curve to his body. Okay. His head shape is not quite an egg but it's pointed at the tip and is wider at the base so just make this sort of strange 
oval. It's a squished oval egg mm. shape. See that right there? Yeah. Right? And then we're going to round out his fuzzy, fuzzy bottom. Fuzzy, fuzzy bottom. And he's going to curve out here a little bit. Also a fuzzy, fuzzy bottom. Mm-hmm. And it's okay that the f the the more bum bum you give him, the more bum bum bunny he has. Mm -hmm. So that's completely okay. And then I like to pop out just a little bit of an extra nose there. And when I sketch the ears in, but I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it in paint. The ears kind of come back. See how there's this line on the head? Mm -hmm. The ears sort of follow that. I looked at a lot of bunnies. So even though he's very cartoony, and you can do his ears big or small depending on your favorite type of bunny. Because sometimes they're really tiny. They're like little little ears. And sometimes they're big. I went for a big-eared bunny because I'm like that. Mm -hmm. That's how I am. I like the bunny ears. Now that he's in there and I know where he's spaced, I can easily figure out where I want to put some daffodils. So I'm going to get a slightly smaller bright brush. I'm going to get a number six. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, with my chalk, I'm going to think about a couple daffodils I know I want. I know I've, I want one right here, kind of following the arc of him. Mm -hmm. Right? And I know I'm going to want one right there, sort of in the middle space between this and the edge of the canvas. Maybe somebody low. Somebody focal right there. Another little daffodil looking down at him. Another little daffodil friend. I think this time I'm going to add just an extra in there because it always felt to me like it was missing. Just one more. So I've got all that daffodil in there. And how I do the daffodil, and this is super easy, I'm going to put out a little more titanium white just so you can see it. Super easy. The daffodil is about five little petals. Now I'm going to get to my clean water. My daffodils and my bunny, I want to have very clean water for. Mm hmm. Because, Why is that? Because they're bright, and if I put colors that grade out, grade them out, it would make my colors feel muddy, even though they weren't. So you just use clean water there. I'm going to use some yellow and a little white on there. See, like that? It's mm -hmm. just on the bead of this number six. I'm going to come right here, and this is a lot of fun. I'm going to go. I'm going to plant my brush on the corner. One, two, three. All I'm doing. Adding a little, little white to it. Yeah, I'm just adding. I didn't get it. I had some white in there, but it didn't come out. And I like the white. Up here, I'm going to make the star. Okay. I'm going to come in, plant my corner. One. Two. Uh -huh. Three. Four. This one's going to be six. There we go. I just want to show this fabulous, fabulous little guy. Let's do like a couple petals right here and go. And then the big thing is you're allowing the white and the yellow to mix on the brush. And I am. I'm a rebel. Where are you going now? Whoop. I'm going to do just five here. Whoop. We'll go over where you're at, Orange. Right here. These are so, you could fill all kinds of canvases up with these. Look at that. Oh, that's really Isn't that cool. fun? Yeah, very yellow. Now this one is much more yellow, so I'm just trying to make sure that the daffodils aren't the same same. Mm-hmm. Got to mix it up there a little bit, huh? Yeah. Well, and there'll be a trick because I got to come back on these inward facing ones with some more petals. This one I'm going to give two to. Two. Two, two? Two, two. Two, two. Maybe a little white on that one. And I come make another little oh. forward facing guy right here with my curve in. Curve. And it is the, sh look, it's the corner of the brush I'm pressing in at. Isn't that fun? Yeah. Lots of paint. The thing that can be tricky if you're painting student paint is the yellow is thin. Yeah. So if your yellow is thin, if you're painting it, it's like the sky is shining through, like all you did is put up glass. Mm -hmm. My tip here is 
is to paint them in first in white. Let them dry. And then go back with the yellow. Oh, so you did it over the top of it. Yep. And so you're, it's like you're painting against white canvas. That's just if you're painting something that's a, you know, a student paint. Student paints are less expensive, but how they save money is they take away your pigment, which is what you were using to paint with. <laughs> so, kind of a problem. I'm going to get just a smidge of my quinacridone. Can you push that up for me? Just a, your yeah. pal palette. Just, oh, perfect. Oh, smidge. Way enough. More than enough. Come here, feather. Smidge just over into my yellow because yellow and red don't always make orange, but in this case they do. Right, so I've got one I, here. I actually was kind of questioning that for a second. I was like, I don't know what that's going to make. <laughs> <laughs> but acridone's actually a really forgiving color to work with, by it's, the way. It, that's it, why it, I like it. It's, it's a red. Yeah. So I'm just putting a little dot in the center there. Just dab, dab, dab. All on the corner. Now here, I'm going to make a little trumpet. I'm going to put one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cute? I feel it's cute. I wouldn't. I would have never have thought that 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 funny purple and yellow would have made orange. Yeah, that's a pretty orange too. It is. It's such a pretty orange. And I'm gonna come with a little more quinacridone. Get some of my yellow into it. We're gonna do another little trumpet. You ready? What's crazy is even when it's streaky. One, it... two, three. So you might paint out a petal you put in, but if you put them in, it just helps you know where they are. That way, if they peek out in some kind of way. One. Two, three. Mm -hmm. I love these. Yeah. I'll just do two here because this one's a little smaller. And then we'll make another little yellow or orange center. Let's make it a little more of this, though. So it looks like Little Brush Zoe is painting along with you today. Hi, Zoe. She thinks she's home today, not a little oh. under the weather, so she's painting along with us. Hey, sweetie. And, and You're one of my favorite artists. Mm -hmm. I think we I, we have lots of little brushes that I think will be painting along with us. All right, I'm gonna get a little more of my white and some of my yellow, and this isn't okay if some of the red gets in this next part because mm -hmm. it'll just make some nice different colors. I'm gonna add a couple more leaves. Ooh. See, even though it's abstract, we can still enjoy our paintings. Oh, there you are. Oh, you, you, you jump around on those guys. I do. I'm going to just pull that out. See? Oh, you, yeah, you're leaving little, some big beads of paint on there. I am. This is why I love heavy body paint. <laughs> I'm kind of a, I'm kind of, that's why I love it. But you could do this with a soft body craft paint. It just wouldn't leave the structural. See, the brush strokes, the paint, uh -huh. will remain here no matter what. I'm going to rinse my brush out back in my green water. Now they call it, is it when they leave the the paint like that. Is that impasto? Is that is that the right term for that? What do you mean? Where, when you oh, have the, yes. the, the the paint. <laughs> <laughs> Not even paint. <laughs> I'm looking for my real brush, and you're like saying things, and I'm like, I don't know. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, that happens to me all the time. I'm over here pushing buttons, and you're like, right, John? And I'm like, oh. Uh, think maybe. Yes. Whenever <laughs> there is a noticeable brush stroke. Where you can really see it. I'm taking a little of my green over to my yellow. I'm making a very bright green. With this is a number four round. Ooh, and there's the little brush Addison is also painting with us today. Hi, how are you doing today? And I, think Mer I, I, I think Mercy. Oh, really? Is Let's also do a shout out so, for little yeah, brushes. Yeah, if I see little brushes, I'm gonna say hi to you guys. So I've got all the brush loaded on the tip of my paint on this round. I'm gonna use a light brush pressure. Mm hmm. And I'm going to just do a little line. And as I come down, I might press harder. These are little happy lines. I like to curve them a bit like a crook. Just because sometimes daffodils have a curve on their stems. And if you see that curve, then you see that curve, right? Yep. Grab maybe a little white into that and make some interesting stuff. I'll bring a little bit of a stem down from that one. And a little bit of a stem Ooh. down in front here. <laughs> Boy, you're all over there. You guys are all over. I'm trying to catch I up. I am curving. <laughs> I'm just using the tip of my brush. It makes a very nice line. Look, but it's okay if the line even breaks. I'm just like, it's like a little bit of paint here and there. I don't got to worry about it. I like to keep the curve of the world. Curve of the world is blue and green and green and blue. 
And Rhea is with us. I see Rhea. Hi, out Rhea. There. Oh, you know, there's. I know that there's a bunch of little brushes that paint with us uh, a little later on. Yeah. Millie, Millie and Josie often paint with us. That's right. Later on. So we say hi to them. Mm-hmm. And of course, um, we've got uh, Matthew and um, Brooke. Oh, that's right. Matthew and Brooke. We have so many people. We have so many little brushes. We, we need to like, we have, we have like a whole palette of little brushes out there. We do. Oh, we love when they paint with us too. I love it. So I'm going to get a little, I've got just a little bit of green left and a bunch of yellow and some white. And I'm going to make this just, it's like a new grass green, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like when the blades are really fresh. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to add some of this just really, I might even grab some blue if it's just too yellow, right? It just went too yellow. I just want it, I want it to be new grass green. So I'm going to make this extra layer. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. That extra layer. The extra layer. Is a good layer. It's a good layer. Just put some over here. Just trying to create that depth into the to the space. So that's all in, and now we get to do Mr. Bunny Bunny Bunny. Oh bunny. yeah. Mr. Bunny 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 Bunny, and I like to when I do him. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna outline him. Believe it or not. Interestingly enough, to hold my lines in my magenta. In your magenta, okay. Because he's a he's a very light bunny in little creatures that are very light. Uh huh. So see, I've got his little nose here. I'm gonna definitely do that in a very strong magenta. And I'm gonna paint in his little ears. They're gonna get wide at the bottom. But again, you guys have traceables. I'm just going to paint him in so I have those little lines. Maybe add a little white to it. There's a little white. What Hold is on. it? What? I didn't know you were getting white. <laughs> I added a little white to my pink. I was getting my teeth. That way it wasn't so purple. I snuck away I want it to tea. be really pink. So I've added a little white to my pink. Sorry. So I'm going to come right back here. I want it just to be a little pinker than it was there. That is transparent paint. So there's two reasons that paint can be transparent. It's made to be transparent. Mm Mm-hmm. It'll also say that on the tube. If it's supposed to be transparent, it'll say that on the tube. And in, and, and in some brands, they'll even show you the the transparency with a little guide or a chart yeah. right there on it. Yes. So. And I love that. When they'll show you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, on these, you can see. That's how transparent it, it naturally is. Mm-hmm. All right. So I'm just coming here. And then I'm just, you know, I'm just sketching in where my bunny space is with my pink. That's what I'm doing. (laughs) And you may have, you know, traced yours in, which is perfectly acceptable. We'll get to the best part was the cotton towel. Zoe had a really good idea. She's going to be gluing cotton balls Mm. to the painting. That's right. And is that allowed? Yes. Yes. Um, Little brush Christian's with us and having a great time painting. I'm sure we're going to see Wyatt later, too. Oh, I'm sure. All Um, right. So when I have those basic bunny lines in with his little sniffy nose sniffing the spring air, right, I'm mm going to get back into one of my bigger brushes so I can paint him in easily and also so I can make nice fur. I think what I'm looking for is a six. There's my six. Where's your six? There's There's my six. So I'm going to get my six ready. And I've got some nice white here. I'm going to make sure that my white is all tinted with just a little bit of pink. Not a lot of pink, but a little bit of pink. And even a little bit of yellow is okay. Hmm, At the nose, I'm going to paint neatly in. So some pink nose is really, really peeking out. The darker pink. And then I'm going to do an interesting thing. So see how this is the bead on my brush? But I want them to be fluffy. So I'm going to flick out a little bit of hair. And I'll just brush this in here. I'm going to do little short brushy brush strokes. He's fluffy. He's fluffy. The little fluffy bunny. He's fluffy. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to paint his little first layer of fur is going to be slightly pink. And then I'm going to paint flat strokes on the ears. Flat strokes. Why'd you why'd you switch to flat strokes? Because his ears are not fluffy. They're oh. smooth. 
oh, that's actually kind of, I wouldn't have actually thought that. <laughs> but that is, that is true. They make the little ears be all smoothed out. That's right. His little ears would be all smoothed out. He could be a brown bunny. He could be. He could totally be a brown bunny. I'm going to put out a little more white because I know I'm going to use a lot. Just that one more than that. More than this. Look at me. I love new tubes of paint before I've gummed them up. I know. I, so I, so I, I went that when I picked Were that you one. Were thinking I was that? Like, and I it's was. okay if a little yellow is in your mix too, by the way. See, I've added a little yellow. Mm -hmm. This a little peachy. These are all things that just create character. And I'm just, where he's got fur, I'm making little fur kind of brush strokes. See? I'm paying attention to the direction of his head. And then at the ears, we're smoothing out. Oh, yeah. All right. Smoothing out at the ears. And enjoying those ear shapes. I love the ear shapes. Aren't the ear shapes lovely? Yeah. It very much enjoys ears. <laughs> I do, too. I think it's really. And there's lots of people who are like, fluffy, 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 bunny. Yeah, just also it helps to say fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. There, there are lots of people saying fluffy, fluffy, fluffy in chat. Yes. <laughs> they think that this is very fluffy. Gotta go fluffy. He's so fluffy and cute. You got to love him so much. You got to love your bun bun. Your <laughs> fluffy, fluffy bun bun. I can't. I can't wait to see if we get some content ad on that. Be huh? like, from what? From where? How? <laughs> so we're gonna just come here and fluff out him. Fluff his fluffiness. You can't make him too fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah. Many of you will be like, is he too fluffy? This is not possible. Not possible. Fluffy is always correct. In art. <laughs> no, just, there's no always in art. But if there were an always, it would be that fluffy is a good thing. And then I'll show you the trick to do the tail once I get him laid in. Because there's a little trick with the tail. Yes. Come around his ear. Fluff, 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 fluff. And it's just about using the edge of the brush. I kind of curved the stroke. Can you see how I'm curving it? Mm-hmm. That also helps. <laughs> That's a good stroke to kind of get in hand. The curvy, fluffy stroke. It is. I use a lot of uh, white on this painting. And the reason I let his base be so pink is things that are very uh, white and have white fur have very, very pinky pink skin. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Hmm. And so even though I'm painting very decoratively, mm -hmm. I still want to pay attention to things like that. And so when I say decoratively, this is stuff you might want to hang in your home. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not trying to change the consciousness of humankind. You're just trying to talk about how happy fluffy bunnies are making you and that you like them for spring. And you would like to explore your painting, your painterliness. With it. With it. So it's not super serious. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't have to be serious. serious. This, could, this could be, you know, this is just so personal. You're on, this is personal art journey time. Yeah. So, now, on me, you'll see, like, what might make you guys crazy and just doesn't bug me at all mm. is notice how much my underpainting is showing through here. And this is with my pro paint. Yeah. Doesn't bug me. <laughs> now, I remember, like, when we were moving. I'm going to pull a little blue out because i got to make a little shadow. Yeah. I'm going to take that over to my quinacridone and make a purple that's more red. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to come between those little ears. And make a bit of a shadow. Oh, yeah. And I might even come sort of around those ears very lightly with my darker color and define them just a little bit. doesn't have to be perfect. It's not, it's not critical. And then the other place, but i got to get my, yeah, I think I've got to get more of my white in before I can do that. So just, you know, you can put a little shadow here between the ears, too, because they would still cast a little shadow, wouldn't they? Here's a wonderful surprise. What's a wonderful Mrs. surprise? Mrs. Carl has 16 little brushes watching with us today. 16 little brushes! So there's a... Hi, Mrs. Carl's class. Hi, Mrs. Carl's class. <laughs> I'm so glad you're arting today. Yes. It's a good day to do it. It's a good day. Now, to get my white to paint fluffy over my pink, this is an important time to dry. So, 
If you've got a hair dryer, definitely use your hair dryer. Mm. So why she's doing? To speed it up. To speed it up. There. So why she's doing that? I was like, hello, all you little brushes. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us today. It's really nice to nice to be able to have you guys with us. You know, we uh, we always say it's it's. Uh, it, it, it's a blessing to be able to, to come together and have all you guys just hang out with us and be able to pr- do your artwork and, and share it. Don't forget to post up on Facebook, on, on Pinterest, on Instagram, oh, on our website. Uh, I think I got even graphic. That uh, So post those up, share it. We want to see your fluffy, fluffy bunnies and your pictures. So definitely post those up there so we can see them. Come out and hang out and chat. You can see all that stuff. Um, you know, we've got big art quest stuff out there, all that stff you know. There she is. It's dry because it's less shiny usually. Not always, but mostly. There's a sheen. There's less of a sheen. There's a sheen. So it'll come out matte, and but sometimes paint is you. You can also just go like that ah. <laughs> and see if it is <laughs> fingerprints. Now something to think about while I'm finishing him up. Uh huh. I can show everybody how I did those little flowers that y'all saw at the Which beginning. One? Oh yeah, I like those. So if everybody wants to see those demoed, I can. That can be a special surprise for What's people that make it to the end. Yes, of course, we want to see this. I am now just doing pure white paint, and I am going over the top, making little furtive, gestural little brush strokes on the edge of my brush. Mm-hmm. Right. See how that makes them look white and fluffy. Yes. So not pink anymore. Absolutely fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. fluffy. Because there's a slight, you can kind of slightly see through the uh, paint and, you know, see what's underneath, (laughs) a slight pink, it creates depth in the piece, doesn't it? It does. So even though it's a simple piece, it does some really cool, complicated things here. Look, you can see the breeze hitting his fur, can't you? I love that. You can. It's a little bit breezy for Mr. Bun Buns. Now I'm going to very carefully paint in his little lovely ears. There's some funny comments here in the chat. Are there buddy comments? Yeah. Alexandria, uh, her boyfriend's getting her a hair dryer for her birthday. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't, what he doesn't realize is it's not for her hair. (laughs) 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 So she was laughing in chat when you were saying about getting your hair dryer out. So I think that's really great. Everybody's loving how fluffy the bunnies are. How? Fun with your fluffy bunny. I love bunnies. the pink and fluffy bunny. If you're deciding if you need to upgrade your paint, mm. one place to upgrade it, if you just upgrade one, is the white. Right. Get and a really good professional white because what happens with the student whites is they paint white and then when they dry, they go transparent. It's super frustrating mm-hmm. and can be really upset to new, upsetting to new artists. So you can uh, get away sometimes with a lot of uh, economical stuff, but some things just really are benefited by a load of pigment. Load it up. Yep. And that's why, like, when I'm painting over my bunny ears, my bunny ears paint over. So lovely. Yeah. This is, I, this is my favorite white. Everybody has a different one. Artists are real funny like that. Mm-hmm. We get a little weird. And we get opinions about products and colors and things. <laughs> so many feels. And and hopefully if you paint, you will get feelings about things in your studio. That's a blessing. Yeah. To have feelings. About the tools you work with. I think. Mm-hmm. I'm just painting little bunny ears. Oh, I love it. I like it. I love it. I love it. He's fluffy, fluffy bunny. The <laughs> tail's gonna be the best part. We almost need. We need some bunny. Some. I'm gonna find some music just because there's some. You. You need some bunny music. I'm okay. You don't. I'm no. good. All right. No I'm bunny good. music. We can all sing a little bunny you song your bunny in our song. own heads. Right. Everybody has a bunny song in their head. Oh, they say there's a bunny on your palate somewhere. Where's the bunny on the palate? He's right there. Oh, there's a bunny on the palette. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny, the 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 energy of bunny has come in. Now I'm going to come on the edge of my brush to work around the ear, mm-hmm. and then pull out my fluffy brush stroke. And I might come around here, just to keep that space safe and clean looking. But then I want it fluffy everywhere else. So like on the edge. Mm-hmm. I'm carrying on on the edge. 
So, but then go fluff, 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 fluff. Everyone would like to know what the bunny is looking up at. Well, I kind of left that space open for you guys. I've been doing this for a minute on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit more white to his nose. And I was going to make some decisions. I was like, I could put a ladybug. I could do a butterfly. There's all these little, I could do a dragonfly. There were all these little creatures that I could put up here that could even be landing on his nose. And I thought, then I'm taking that away from you. I'm taking that opportunity to customize your painting and decide what he's looking at. So he could be looking up in the sky, or she could mm -hmm. be looking up in the sky. Could be could be dreaming. Could just be closing her eyes and enjoying the breeze. I think, yeah, it's important as teachers that we leave room for you guys when you're coming through to have a little space mm -hmm. to express your creativity and the story in your painting. Because every painting should have a story. Yeah. Every painting should have a story. I like, I like how fluffy you're making it. Yeah, and haven't even gotten a tail fluff. part of fluffiness. Yes. Because we got to kind of do this dark and light again. Oh, yeah? And then, of course, there's going to be the whole group of you that glue cottontails Cause to Mr. Cottontail. And then it would be mixed media. Then it wouldn't be mixed media. I've been, I've been here for, for a show or two. You've been here for a show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've got enough room for his little bunny butt. Yeah. I gotta put it like right there. Just gonna just offside to the ears a little bit. You're just gonna kind of. I gotta dry this real okay. fast. <laughs> real fast. She's drying it real fast. Look at that. Real fast. So put it up there. Put it up there. That's where you can go to hang out. Post up your bunnies so I can see them. Come hang out with us out there. All the cute bunnies. I'm curious what you think the bunny is looking at, guys. So all the little brushes out there. You have to wonder. Could there be butterflies that are out there that the bunny? Could be could be looking at, could be just enjoying the breeze today, maybe smelling smelling the flowers. The bunny could be doing all sorts of things. Could be wondering what little what 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 fun thing you'll be doing next today. All sorts of things that bunnies could be thinking about. Got a little long with his ears, and I really mm -hmm. have to put his tail kind of like right here oh. centered, right. So I'm going to need to shorten those ears. It's a short knee. How are you going to do that? I'm going to come like this, and I'm going to shorten the ears off the tip right here. If you got long in your ears, this is a way you can adjust it. And then I'm going to come back with my slightly purple color. Slightly purple, not like super purple. <laughs> and I'm going to just put those ears back. Look at that. Ooh. Never Please. ever stress about things getting weird or wrong in a painting. Because once acrylic paint is dry, I just also happen to need this color for later so that works out. <laughs> so now I've got this and I know where my bun bun tail is going to go. I've uh -huh. got a little half moon of bun bun. The half moon of bun bun, not the half moon of indoor. Half moon of bun bun. <laughs> 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 no dark side here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fan of strokes. So my first stroke goes up on the edge. It's a little bit straight. And I'm going to fan. Go stroke, 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 over to the side. Stroke, 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 over to the side. See that? And it's a fan. This is flares. This is all kinds of things. Master this when painting with me because we'll be doing it again. Yes. I like this technique. See this? Mm hmm So now I'm creating the base of what is his fluffiness. Yes. I yeah. like it. He's super cute. So then I have to let it dry. More again. More drying. There she goes. She's drying on me. And... My gosh, there's questions coming in. So I got some good questions I'm going to queue up for her as they're coming in for you guys. Thank you for coming and joining us today. Don't forget to do the like, comment, subscribe, share stuff. You know, come join us on the website. Come hang out at all our places. Come do all our social things. You know, we don't, have, we don't really have a script for me to do things while she's gone. <laughs> Did everybody want the uh, extra flowers? The extra, of course they want the extra flowers. I don't know. Maybe they all said, yes. no, no, we're they're ready like, to go. No, no, flowers. They all were right. like, absolutely so flowers. Your last thing is to take your white paint. 
and just slightly shorter than your shadow. Give him a little white fluff. See, that's how you do the white on the white. <laughs> now you can get impasto on his butt. You could get so impasto. The thick, thick fluffy. You could be just like. Put it right there. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Look at that. Some, some thick paint right there. You could. Fluffy, fluffy tail. Floofy, and see, it adds floofy. extra floof. Extra floof. And you could just keep going at it too. You just yep. there's no end. <laughs> if you're like, oh, I got a lot of paint. This is a good place to, you know, look at that. There you go. There you go. Thick, lots of fluff thick, on lots his of tail. Fluff. So I'm going to take my slightly s smaller brush that I had out. Right. I'm going to take. I think I. Oh, I don't want one that small. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Vicky mm -hmm. says, and butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more flowers and more butterflies. All right, I'll just use this. I just want a small bright. I want a small little detail brush, small brush of some kind. Mm -hmm. Could be a bright, could be a round. And I've got all this extra paint. That's how I did the first ones in the first place. So I'm going to grab this and a little bit of white. i got my pink and a little bit of white. And what I'm going to do is come on the edge and go stroke, stroke, stroke. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Grab a little white. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Maybe a fourth stroke. Ooh. These are like these little, I don't know if you've ever seen them. Sometimes they, they're they out in the wildflower field. They're like this little tiny strokey fuck. <laughs> yeah. There's a little, little, little botanists in the room are like, no, I know what that is. You're painting it wrong. <laughs> no, but so how I get these is I just pick up paint. I'm just using up the extra paint on my palette. You're just getting the impression of flowers. Right. I'm like, I have this paint anyways. I might as well. When I come up here, maybe I just do a light little bit. Maybe it's smaller. Right? It implies that it's further away, doesn't it? Now, you like to reuse the colors of your palette over and over again if mm -hmm. you can. Throughout the painting. Now, why is that? Because I believe... It's my opinion as an artist that it creates a continuity to the piece. To repeat colors throughout creates another type of harmony and balance. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to add one, two, three. See, it's just this little kind of curve stroke, and then I'll curve out that way. What's real fun is when I come back with a little bit of yellow and do yellow mm -hmm. centers. And then I thought to myself, I've got all this blue, and wouldn't blue be sweet? Oh, yeah. So I grabbed some blue and some white. That's just how it happened. I'd already done the painting, and I was like, but what if it had flowers? Because <laughs> I have all this paint, and then it needs more stuff. Or i got to paint another painting. I don't know if you guys ever get that where you're like, at the end, like, well, I guess i got to paint another painting now. Sort of not the Duke. <laughs> Couple little see we're just dispersing around some extra flowers. Mm hmm Just making him feel like spring. Spring has sprung. Spring, spring has sprung. sprung. Lots of fun when spring has sprung. <laughs> spring, 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 spring. John does, while we don't necessarily have the same convo going that we do on the show, <laughs> I do sing while I'm painting and it cracks John. <laughs> It's true. He's like, are you having a conversation with your painting again? <laughs> yes. Yes. The flowers are talking to the bunny. Talking to the bunny. Talking to the bunny. The now, the best part, grab a little yellow. Mm -hmm. Little bead of yellow. Maybe a little, yellow. little bead of white to give it some color. So it's on the edge. Uh-huh. Oh, what are you doing over there? Give your flowers little yellow centers. Ooh, very impasto centers. Give your flowers little yellow centers. And so sometimes they'll pick up from a flower before, and that's okay. You just carry it on like a little bee? Uh -huh. Where'd you going? Like a little bee. I'm a bee. I'm a paint bee. <laughs> it's done. Ooh, that's it. That's so cute. Like they're cute just little You're going to sign it? Yes, let's sign, sign it. you got to sign it. you got to sign it. Signing, signing, signing. Or you, sometimes you forget to sign them. I, gotta, I do. You gotta get you to sign them. And then he isn't, I think I changed. I think this one's enough different than the study to be. Sometimes, like we have some trouble telling the studies from the paintings. You got an show. extra flower on this one, I think. Yeah. Well, and I rounded his ears a little more. So there's a couple differences. 
So I've got a nice little number 10 over 0 oh, ultra mini. And I'm going to just sign my name right here. You don't have to. It helps to identify the painting. It does. But there's a whole bunch of artists now that are just not signing their paintings. But they're really identifiable creators. <laughs> there's not really a provenance issue. Whereas for most of us, there is. For me, there really is because I paint with millions of people. Yeah. And so if I don't sign it, how would I know which one is mine? <laughs> Well, thank you guys. We had a huge crowd of people coming and hanging out with you guys. So, hey, come and hanging out with us. So, thank you guys for coming. Big brushes, little brushes, all the spring painters. I hope you enjoy your bun buns. I will see those of you that are questing on the uh, big art quests on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday on Facebook, Thursday on YouTube, Friday. There is a surprise video that's coming up. Check the channel for it. You guys are going to freak out. And then Saturday. So, yeah, I'm here all week. <laughs> Love you guys. See you at these early soon. Bye-bye.